So why are you single? Because I don't want a girlfriend. That's Just me. that, simply put. Yeah. I think Same. that's why we broke up. I have my moments where <laughs> I, I think wanna... that's why we broke up, bro. <laughs> I feel like you got your heart broken one time. Heartbroken? Really, yeah. Nah, 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 bro. I did too. I feel like you got your heart broken one time <laughs> and that just really f***ed you up. I wouldn't say I had my heart broken. Everybody I, uh, had their heart broken though. I, I started to understand women a little bit more. as I got, Well, early on, I understood that like sh- she's not mine. Even if she may be my girlfriend, she she might be influenced by other people. No. Hey, D, you're, you're, you're selling learn. yourself short of the people. greatest energy in this world that is love. So, I mean, I he's right, but bro, I don't trip speak- on that relationship. If we having a good time for a moment, then cool. If we if you end up venturing off, and I do too, it is what it is. But don't you know anybody is. that's that's been like married for like decades? Yeah, I what know about some people that? that are married for a couple weeks. <laughs> yeah, but you're focusing too much on those people. I'm focusing on everything. When you go onto the court, do you manifest that you're the best on the court? Manifest? Or do you, do you believe it? Like, do you truly believe that you're the one best? Of the best I just sure. do my job. <sighs> you're not giving me anything here. I really do, man. <laughs> because I believe if you believe that love was out there for you, you'd find it. I you're a great guy. I'm, you're the nicest guy in the NBA. I'm not. <laughs> See, you think I really actually made that list. <laughs> I didn't. They weren't really listening to him and were hardly letting him even talk. Yet Durant knows the difficulties in finding some genuine love today, especially when you're worth over $300 million. Now brace yourselves for the next rant of this unhappy wife. Every day since we moved in together, I have woken up to a text message that says, good morning, my love. I hope you have an amazing day. The only day I don't get this is on Sunday because he's off. Also, every morning he kisses me on my forehead it's not anything crazy but it's like enough to not wake me up too much but just a little bit to know like i love you so what did i get this morning absolutely nothing not a text message not a kiss not a phone call not a notification not a pat on the shoulder who hurt you what did i do to you are you mad at me do you not love me anymore are we not married? It's not because he just suddenly doesn't love you. It's most likely because he was stressed or running late, but there is a slight chance that maybe he's upset at you. And if that's the case, the best question to ask yourself is not what have you done to him, it's what haven't you been doing for him. It is in fact simple reciprocation. If she wants more love from him, then she's got to give more love to him first. Now watch this next one till the end. How much money is in your guys' bank account? I don't know, maybe like a grand, too. Like 80k. You have 80k? Who do you think I am? You have 80k? Yeah. Where'd you get the 80k from? My family. Just gave you money? I literally yeah. pay for everything. You have 80k? And I'm sitting here with two grand? What? Are you kidding me? Yeah, what the frack? Picking up Wait, are you three scared? Men. Like, what's wrong? <laughs> what? Why are you scared of me? I'm Jade. What's up? Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Are you single? <laughs> yeah. Okay, um, you don't, you're single, you don't have a girlfriend? Nah, I'm just kidding. You have a girlfriend? Mm-hmm. Are you down to have another girlfriend? No, thank you. No? Go ahead. Okay. That was easy. What kind of a question was that? But thankfully, he was wise enough to see right through it. Now, this next situation is rather unfortunate. My cousin, who is younger than me, is getting married today. Meanwhile, I have credit card debt. I am in a toxic situation with one of my exes. Last week, I was so broke that instead of getting an Uber to the airport, I had a random guy from Hinge drive me. Happy wedding. This man gets rejected because he's healthy. What's your name? Antoine. Antoine, how old are you? I'm 27. 27, okay, and what do you do? I work at a plant, but I also personal train. Okay, very cool. Yeah. And uh, now, what are some things you like to do for fun? Really work out. So you're all about the gym? Yeah. If we can have your name and age. Hi, my name is Mishna. I'm 23. And Mishna, why'd you end up popping your balloon? I just felt like I just don't see us being compatible with you being so big into the gym. Oh, yeah. I'm not a gym girly whatsoever. I personally <laughs> dance. That's my choice of exercise. So I didn't want you going to the gym and me being like, no, I'm good. I didn't want that to be an issue. What? So I just figured I'd just rather separate myself. I understand. That's one thing I should have emphasized on. I, as long as you've been active, I already got the gym thing out the way. Uh-huh. I, I feel about 50-50. <laughs> 50-50. Oh. 
50-50 is not the worst thing in the world. And he's just bringing up a possible scenario. Let's continue. I am Kayla. I'm 23. Okay, so Kayla, why'd you end up popping from him asking how you feel about 50-50? Because I'm not trying to like backtrack on my past relationship that we was doing 50-50 there and I, I didn't like it. Because I feel like if I'm cooking food, if I'm cleaning the house, if I, you know, I feel like that's the 50 right there. No! No! I never said, so, I never said about payments or nothing. Well, then explain. 50-50. It is, is, can you adapt? That's a better uh, question. Can you? Yeah. Adapt? Okay. Yes, I can. Because I could be holding you down, but then again, life happens. Life on life. Yeah. Can you adapt? Well, then if that's Are the case, yes. Are you willing to yes. adapt? Yes. Yeah. yeah. So can I? You want your balloon back? Yeah. <laughs> you know what? Hold on. I'm about to do it again. You know what? I, I tried to shoot my shot at him a long time ago, and he like never gave me the time or attention. And he probably don't want to tell nobody, but he's um. Most the people, security at the club, and I be trying to shoot my shot there too, and he still don't give me a chance. I'm, I'm good. I don't even care no more. That's all what you gotta say for yourself. It's just like, if I see you in the club all the time, it's just. It's weird. not even all the time, but I also got your Instagram, so. So you're saying you see her out too much? Yeah. It's, and that's like a, no. that's not like, what happened. Even, even though, even though I, I work security, at the end of the day, I'm not making money. If you was out making money, that's the difference. But you going out, cool. Okay. It appears that he's just a bit too mature for them. Plus, bro put in some serious work on himself and they didn't even realize that. Now this next one's a tough dose of truth. Is she thinner than me? You have a lot in common. So she's not younger than me, she's not skinnier than me, and she's not prettier than me. Then why couldn't it just be me? She's softer than you. She's quieter than you. She doesn't yell at me. She doesn't call me an idiot or tell me to shut up all the time. She listens to me. She's nice to me. They truly mean it, especially when that man loves you. He loves seeing you in your most natural self. I get told the same thing when I go without makeup and I actually believe him. And trust me, it's freeing when you get to that point because you don't have to wear makeup every single day. And trust me, that man even has photos of you without any makeup on and, and he pulls it up and looks at it every so often. He will even post it on social media without even thinking twice that maybe you don't think that it's attractive. Even if you don't think it's the most flattering, let that man have his moment because he's just trying to show you off. If you ask most people, the natural look is what's in contrary to what many makeup enthusiasts would say. Next, we have a guy who got frustrated because his date didn't bring any money. The point of the date is to get to know each other. Well, you know each other. I'm gonna eat, pay for your food, I pay for my own food, right? That wasn't part of the point. When you invited me on a date, I expected you to pay. I don't have any money, and I told you that. You still gonna sit here and eat in front of me? Why would you come to a date with no money? I thought you was gonna pay. You invited me. You made the plans, you should have the money. No, you said we should go out to eat. That's okay, cool. No, 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 We're going no. out to eat. It's still good, though. You ain't got nobody that can cash up you some money? No, you. That's why I'm here. With you. You ain't got no money? You coming over tonight? If you don't have no money, you shouldn't be going on dates. Are you coming over tonight? If you don't have any money, you shouldn't be going Let's on be clear. dates. Let's be clear. Why should I go to your house on the first date? I asked you what I asked you. I said, can we hang out later? You're like, no, I'm going to go home. I'm a little sleepy, right? You said you're tired, right? All right. I just want to eat. But you're not too tired to eat. No. But you're not too tired to spend my money. No. Because I put all of my importance on her. And my, 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 my friends, they expressed that to me. They said, yo, dad, you're spending a lot of time with her, man. Like, what about us? Like, we were there for you before she ever existed. And I was like, oh, guys, but I'm in love. Then she'll probably say that she didn't even ask him to do that. Plus, it's said that the younger you go through something like this, the better. Now, the actions described in this next one have got to be that of a good wife. I love to see him eating the meal that I cooked. I love seeing him sleep easy. Like every night, like clockwork, I scratch this man's back to sleep. And I know when he's asleep because I can tell when his breathing changes. And some people might think that's psychotic, but that's like... I just know that's when I'm like, oh, I can stop now. But I find joy in being your rest. And it shouldn't be conditional. You real life over here trying to leave me because I want to yeah, have yeah. You out to get out the car, what you mean? What do you mean? We get just out know the good 
Right. Date. We just went on a good date. Why, okay. Like, why the fuck would you even come on, man? Like, you wasted really? my time. I took really? you like 10 dates. Really? You and got the, two kids and I, and already. This, you this like, you don't want to give me this. This the dude I decide to be with. You're like, you can get out. You know what you mean I can get out? You're like, you don't want to get out. How you going to kick me out the car just because we went on a date? How did I waste your time? We're together. I got to take you on for me to be able to get some. You got two kids already, but you trying to like, you don't want to give it up to me. So you think I'm just easy like that? Man, I'm saying I've been putting in work. I'm not even trying. Okay, and you're going to. Man, listen, you you can get out. I can get out. Yeah, you you real out. life gonna make car. me yes, walk. Because you ain't giving me nothing, get out. Man, you I'm not even. Time. I'm wasting I, your time. No, yes, you got Are you kids, serious? Like, you don't want to give me none. Man, it's not I don't man. have to. All right, get out. You really gonna make me walk home. Bye. Bro was clearly upset here. Plus, he's better off just walking away as quickly as he can because arguing won't really do much. Really hope you enjoyed these ones today and don't forget to like, subscribe, and become a channel member today if you haven't already and I'll see you in the next one.